manufacture of mats coil mats are made in hand looms power looms or frames with or without brush it is available in a range of colors sizes and designs the brushing qualities of coil dough mats and their ability to keep the dirt away makes the product a unique one mats are available in plain natural and bleach patterns available with woven or stencil designs and beveled patterns inlaid with coir fiber or coir yarn for use in interior or exterior dough mats the frame mats such as corridor mat sinnet mat mesh mat and rope mats are manufactured without the aid of a loom but with the help of a frame creel mats are known for its thin brush road mats for thick brush and fiber mats for compact brush latex and rubber backing makes the mats non slip dimensions of common sizes of coir mats manufacture of corridor mat the corridor mat is also known as dutch mat or hollander mat Corridor mat is produced with the help of a wooden frame and a pressing device. It is a mat in which both warp and weft strands are continuous without tucking in or binding. It is a non-brush type one and the weaving is of carpet weaving in which the weft is predominant and warp is concealed. The pattern effect being produced by the weft strands only has rib effect on both sides. It is available in a wide range of design. stripes and also with rubber backing the corridor mat requires a wooden frame in which iron rods can be kept vertically through grooves cut on rails to the thickness of the iron rods the coil rods temporarily function as the warp and the number of ends per foot is 14 by 15 to 18 by 19 after arranging the rods the weft yarn is passed in between the rods by hand alternatively from one end to the other end and is turned back For mats having designs colored threads are worn on the iron rods according to the designs After completion of winding of yarn on one side of the frame the frame with the iron rods turn to the other side so that the yarn won on the other side of the iron rod Complete the winding of yarn of this side by repeating the winding process of yarn Now remove the iron rods with worn yarn from the frame and place it in a pressing device. The press consists of two iron rails out of which one is movable by turning a handle. On the rails small iron nails are fixed in such a way that the distance between the two iron nails equal to the distance between the grooves cut on the wooden frame to erect the iron rods vertically to wind the yarn. The iron nails in the iron rail helps the iron rod to place them comfortably while pressing. The iron rods with the yarn placed on the two iron rails are subjected to pressing by turning the handle which causes the movable iron rail to move closer to the fixed rail to press the yarn to the required width. Now the iron rods are removed one by one and is then drawn the roping yarn through the holes from where the iron rods are removed. All the iron rods are removed like this and the rope yarn is passed in. While passing the roping yarn through the hole at the extreme ends, a single thread of coir yarn is also passed in along with the roping yarn so that the protruding ends of thread can be utilized for preventing the web threads of the mat at four corners from being loosened or removed while in use. The mat is then removed from the press and the four corners of the mat are made intact. 
by taking the protruding threads suitably to interlace with the weft in the mat. Manufacture of Sinet Mat Sinet Mat is also known as Chain Mat. Sinet Mat is a reversible non-brush frame mat. It is available in single chain and double chain and in a variety of color combinations. Braids made out of hard twisted coir yarn with 9 or 11 ply yarn in the braid. The length of the braid required depends upon the size of mat and the pattern to be produced. For the preparations of fancy sinet mat, braids made of different colored strands are used. Sinet mat is made by braid or plate guiding it in an even zigzag manner with the interspaces giving patterns followed by stitching by wearing arm protector on the hand. A flat table upon which nails without heads are fixed according to the size and pattern of the mat brocade. To start with, the braid is put from one corner and is gathered around the outer portion of the nails to form a second layer and stitching by wearing arm protector with the outer layer wherever required. Having completed the required number of layers for the border described above, the braid again gathered to the inner part of the mat through the nails to form the required pattern. Manufacture of Mesh Mat Mesh Mat is a non-brush having a regular mesh effect achieved by laying coir yarn in criss-cross manner between a number of nails without head fixed in a wooden frame and knotting the interesting points with colored yarn. The size of the frame is made to the size of the mat to be made. A rectangular frame made out of four wooden planks upon which nails without head are fixed in equal distance. Nails on one side of the frame are parallel to the nails on the opposite side of the frame and there are 15 nails per foot. Usually for number 2 size, the number of nails would be 20 and 34 in the width way and length way respectively. The warp yarn is gathered in between the nails in the length way and width way perpendicular to each other. There must be 4 layers of warp, 2 in length way and 2 in width way alternately. There will be 4 coir yarn crossing each other at the intersecting points. The mat is made by tying together the 4 coir yarn at the crossing of the warp layers with a special knot. Final variety of coir yarn with the help of a needle is inserted through the mesh and circled over the warp yarn at the point of intersection in such a way that the stitching yarn should cross at the rear side of the mat. For getting design, colored yarn is used for tying. Completed the tying according to the pattern, the mat is taken out of the frame. The edge of the mat around is finished either by stitching with coir braid of suitable type or by a special plating with 8 ends of coir yarn.
manufacture of rope mat rope mat also known as lovers knot mat is made from rope it is available in oval square rectangular and round shapes usually hawser laid and shroud laid ropes are used the thickness and length of the rope varies with the size of the rope mats rope mat is manufactured with the help of a flat wooden plank upon which long iron rails are fixed in a definite order The rope is fitted at one end in between the nails and is guided through the other nails in the frame in a particular way so that each slab of mat will have five layers of rope throughout. There will be four double slabs and two single slab in the length way of mat and two double slabs and two single slabs in the width way of mat. After completing the weaving, the starting and finishing ends of ropes are merged with the slab of mat in such a way that they cannot be identified. The side slab around the mat is also stitched in order to avoid the slipping of single layers of rope from sides. <laughs> 